1993 was an amazing year in gaming and today I'm reflecting on what I personally experienced back in the day. I was a junior at the time in high school and wow, there were so many amazing games coming out and I didn't know about half of them because at the time it was really about word of mouth or reading in a magazine. That's how I got my information. I lived fairly in the country. I had access to a big city uh, for an arcade or two, but really it was for me what I could access at a rental store or what I could rent, what I could hear about. And I was limited on income. You know, I was working. Uh, I didn't have a, a regular job, but I was doing odds and ends, mowing lawns and uh, trying to just kind of get my ends met. So here we go, I'm gonna jump in with the games that I played back in 1993. And first up is Star Fox. And you know, I had a Super Nintendo. I didn't get a Super Nintendo at launch, but I got it around 1992. But by 93, uh, the rental stores in my area were carrying Super Nintendo games. And you know, there was lots of choices. You now at first there was just a few games, but you know, as the library grew, there was more accessibility and more games, and Star Fox definitely intrigued me. It had unique graphics, you know, the early polygon with that super super FX chip, and you know, I I never beat it, but I I remember renting it a few times and enjoying it, but I never did purchase it back in the day, as you know, I was moving on to other games. You know, renting, especially for me on a limited income, uh, you know, where my parents would would be more opt to uh, renting me a game versus purchasing a game that was super expensive. Next up, definitely Super Mario All-Stars. And I was a big fan of the original three uh, Super Mario games released in the North America, but then this one included the Lost Levels. But really, I was playing a lot of Super Mario 3 on it. I liked the slightly enhanced graphics, but having all four games on one cart, as well as a save feature that was huge, huge back in the day. And, you know, I really enjoyed the original Super Mario Brothers games and, you know, played and beat three several times. And this was by far a great game collection. I really wish they would do more of these and definitely uh, Nintendo needs to make one for Zelda. All right, let's not forget about Sega Genesis. Huge Sega fan. And I did play my Sega more than my Super Nintendo. Um, for whatever reason, the games kind of appealed to me more. I don't know if it was, they're a little bit more grittier. But at the time, I remember, and this is the one that I did purchase, and that's Jungle Strike. And Jungle Strike is an amazing game. There's a trilogy of them on the Sega Genesis. I did rank them, and you can check out that video. I put all my ranking of EA together in a recent video. So anyways, Jungle Strike is fantastic. It's a sweet spot, I think, of the, the trilogy on Sega Genesis, and so much fun going around blowing up stuff, mission-based. I, I really like that gameplay style. And for me, you know, the Sega Genesis was something that I loved playing with my friends as well. And, you know, while Super Nintendo was the new, the newer console on the market, I played more Sega. The other uh, Sega Genesis game that I rented quite a bit was Shinobi 3. And this is an amazing Shinobi game. And I like the first one, but this one to me, with uh, with the multiple hits, uh, the, the um, generous life bar, uh, for me, I wasn't the best at this game, but I did enjoy it and it got pretty far as well. And so uh, Shinobi 3, was to me one of the better Shinobi games on the Sega Genesis. Some would say it's the best, and I highly recommend going and playing it. But yes, amazing. All right, so um, I had a Game Boy at the time, and you know, a lot of people forget that how important that was back in the day because having a Game Boy and being able to play on a unique screen, portable, um, you know, and so my family could watch the one TV set that we had. So that was really big deal back in the day. And, you know, Super Mario Land 2, 
dominated my time. That's one of my favorite Game Boy games of all time. This was before the Super Game Boy, um, and I don't know if I would have purchased it. I might have, but really the Game Boy for me was about being able to play on a portable screen anywhere in a house, and I definitely took advantage of that. It was such a fantastic game. I did beat it, and one of my favorite Mario games, actually. It really, really has an amazing, amazing graphics. To me, it was an example of the Game Boy producing graphics that were just as good as the original NES. And that game holds such a special place in my heart. <laughs> Great game. I did still have my Nintendo, um, even though I didn't play it as much. I think our family got it around 87, I do believe. 87, 88, it's a little fuzzy. But... Um, a game I did rent was Kirby's Adventure, and you know at the time I was had moved on from my NES, but I still went back and played a few games. Tecmo Super Bowl was the other game and I played quite a bit, but this was kind of a newer, late release on the NES, 93, it's pretty late, and fantastic platformer. I did love myself some, some platformers, and it really showed that the NES could still produce some amazing graphics. and. At the time, you know, I appreciated it. It was very cute, but I still uh, liked what they did with the graphics and the gameplay. And I know the Game Boy 1 was first, but I didn't play the Game Boy 1 back in the day. I played the NES one. And you're probably wondering, wait, did you still go to the arcades? I lived in the country and I did go to the arcades, but it was, it was few times uh, a month or even uh, once every other month. It wasn't all the time but I did experience an amazing game and that was Samurai Showdown. Samurai Showdown to me and I know fighting games was all the craze of the 90s and really to me Samurai Showdown is the fighting game that I like more than Street Fighter and I did play some Street Fighter in the arcades but Samurai Showdown was the one that really was the wow factor it really showed what the Neo Geo hardware could do um, and I did play the arcade in the arcades, and so I went up, there were several candy cabs in Red, the Reading area at various places, but Samurai Showdown, for sure, I don't exactly remember where I played it, I just know I played it in Reading. And so I don't know uh, if it was at a pizza parlor, Chuck E. Cheese, or somewhere else. There was a couple other larger arcades too at the time, but man, fantastic. And I played as Jubei, and I love this fighting game and still go back to it and play it often. I, I, I think I like Samurai Showdown 2 better, but at the time in 93, this was amazing. Last and definitely not least, I did have a Packard Bell 486, and you know, the computer wasn't the best, but it was able to play the DOS version of X-Wing. That's right, X-Wing was fantastic. And, you know, I remember playing X-Wing, and I do remember, and I don't know exactly when I got the controller, and I remember getting, I do believe, the controller separately, the Flight Stick Pro. And I know, I remember playing TIE Fighter with this, but it is compatible with X-Wing. And, you know, I don't remember using any other joystick on my original setup. So, uh, I did have a Flight Stick Pro, and remember playing lots of X-Wing. And I uh, apologize for the footage, it just wasn't uh, capturing great on the Steam Deck. But, wow, X-Wing was just fantastic and played it so much. The training missions, more than anything, me and my friends would play back and forth who could beat each other's time. And we would do all sorts of uh, flying various ships on the training missions going through like, kind of like an obstacle course. You had to fly through multiple gates and take out turrets. And it was all about managing your shields and, and engine power. And wow, I have so many positive memories of X-Wing. It was simply a fantastic game. And you know, that was it. That was my gaming in 1993. What do you remember playing? What do you remember playing if you were alive? And oh my gosh, you can take a look and in 1993 you can search and there's so many fantastic games. Now you're probably wondering, what about Mortal Kombat? Honestly, I didn't start playing a lot of Mortal Kombat till Mortal Kombat 2. I did play Mortal Kombat, I did rent it, but 
these were the games that I really played more of at the time. And I was a junior and I, and I really got into other games when my senior year came. So thank you so much for viewing this. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock and you have a good day.